By default, scenes using MNPR are column managed by Maya. However, while a linear workflow is mostly desired for a photorealistic render, I often find that a non-linear color mix achieves a more painterly look. It's a subjective decision that you need to take, but here's a graph showing the differences between a linear mix and a non-linear color mix. When working without Maya's color management, MNPR will still make the lights in the scene behave linearly, so there's no need to worry about loss of light intensity from a non-linear workflow. Once your scene is stylized, it's time to render it out. The render tool, which can be opened from the render clapperboard icon, allows you to easily take screenshots at any resolution or playblast your animation. Frame capture enables you to save images and contains the following options. Save opens a file dialog and saves your screenshot with a specified name and format. Custom resolution allows you to set your custom resolution and not the viewports. Keep in mind that GPUs have resolution limits though. Super sampling sets the render size at the configuration node to double, rendering with richer detail and less pixel aliasing. Stylized render enables the MNPR renderer. Format lets you choose your desired image format. Quick Playblast allows you to export your animation with a stylized look. The Playblast is either done with the viewport settings or the Maya render settings. It's up to you. The next three icons in the MNPR shelf contain all the current supported lights, including ambient, directional and spotlights. The blue sphere creates a test sphere with a light to try quick things out. The last tool is the Pass tool, which gives you insight into the current stylization pipeline. You can disable and enable different stages and view each render target that is being calculated in the background. The tool also provides some handy shader debugging options to inspect individual channels and its negative values, or even transform from and to LAB color space. This concludes this rather lengthy introduction to MNPR and all its levels of control. What are you waiting for? Open that asset and start stylizing it. We're mostly interested in how you are using the different levels of control and which ones you find most useful.